water. It covers more than 70% of our planet, an abundant yet untapped resource until now. Imagine a future where the oceans not only power our homes, cars and industries, but also quench our thirst. That future might be closer than you think. For decades, researchers and engineers have been searching for sustainable energy solutions, ones that don't rely on fossil fuels and don't harm our planet. Among the most promising is hydrogen fuel, often hailed as the ultimate green energy source. But producing it has always been a challenge. Many methods are expensive, inefficient, or rely heavily on fresh water, a resource that's becoming increasingly scarce in many parts of the world. And here's the reality. While hydrogen may be clean to burn, making it the traditional way can be far from eco-friendly. Freshwater electrolysis, the process of splitting water into hydrogen and oxygen, has traditionally depended on limited freshwater supplies. But a revolutionary approach is changing the game, turning seawater into both clean fuel and drinkable water at the same time. The key lies in using sunlight. With the help of solar-powered electrolysis, we can now generate green hydrogen directly from seawater. The sun's energy drives the entire process, eliminating the need for fossil fuels. Here's how it works. Seawater is filtered and then fed into an electrolyzer. Using solar electricity, the electrolyzer separates water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen. The hydrogen becomes a powerful, clean burning fuel. But here's the bonus. As the water is purified in the process, you also get fresh, potable water as a byproduct. In regions suffering from water shortages, this dual benefit could be a game changer. Take coastal areas and remote islands, for example. These places often rely on expensive diesel fuel for electricity and must import fresh drinking water. By harnessing solar-powered electrolysis, these communities could produce their own green hydrogen to power homes, schools and businesses, while simultaneously creating a reliable local source of fresh water. But the impact doesn't stop at local communities. Imagine urban centres and industrial hubs adopting this technology on a large scale. The clean hydrogen can replace dirty fuels in transportation, from cars to buses to cargo ships. It can power factories and heavy industries that are currently some of the world's biggest carbon emitters. Every tonne of green hydrogen produced replaces vast amounts of fossil fuels, slashing carbon dioxide emissions and helping us meet climate targets. The numbers speak for themselves. Research shows that if we scale up this technology, we could reduce millions of tonnes of carbon emissions annually. And with the byproduct being clean drinking water, we can address one of humanity's most pressing challenges, ensuring that everyone, everywhere, has access to safe water. So what's holding us back? Historically, the barriers have been cost and complexity. Building the infrastructure for green hydrogen production hasn't been cheap. But breakthroughs in solar technology, better electrolyzers, and economies of scale are driving down costs. Governments, private companies, and international organizations are investing heavily. They recognize that this is no longer a dream for the distant future. It's happening now. From Europe to Asia, from the Americas to Africa, nations are racing to adopt this technology. What once seemed futuristic is quickly becoming mainstream. As these green hydrogen hubs emerge, they're not just transforming local economies, they're setting the stage for a truly sustainable global energy system. Green hydrogen from seawater is more than just an innovation. It's a promise. A promise that the oceans, which have long sustained life, can now power it as well. A promise that technology can work in harmony with nature, solving two of our most urgent crises, clean energy and clean water, with one elegant solution. The future is here. And it's as vast and limitless as the ocean itself. The future is green.